Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode, where in this video I'm going to show you how to create an Nginx reverse proxy for a node server, specifically using Express with Docker and Docker Compose. So before we start, just a demonstration of what we're going to build. So if we list out all our Docker containers, the two of importance here are node C, our node container, and our Nginx container. Nginx is running on port 9999, mapped to the same in the container, and node is 8888, mapped to the same port in the node container. And what we want to do is say we curl directly to our express server. What we get back are the headers, so the headers of the request. And now, if we contact our Nginx server, what it does is it returns these headers, but with the Nginx headers appended. And this is because we have an express server, of course we'll create all this, that just gets the headers from the request and returns them. But if it goes through Nginx, then it adds all these headers to the proxy and forwards it to Express. And then Express returns these headers. But this is just a demonstration of what we're gonna be building. So yeah, enjoy the video. So why use Nginx with Node? Well, Nginx can act as a reverse proxy by being placed between clients and Node application servers. This increases application performance by managing traffic and distributing it among Node servers. Nginx can also cache and serve up static content to clients without contacting the node application servers, which decreases the load placed on them. So instead of using like um, Express static, you can use Nginx to serve the static content. So now let's set up our project. To begin, let's just create our node folder first, which we'll call server. Let's add an index.js file. Let's change directories into this server, and then let's initialize it as an ES6 project by doing npm init ES6 dash y, and this will create a package.json and allow us to use import syntax or ECMA script instead of common JS require. And so for this demonstration, we'll be using the express library to handle requests. So let's install express from npm with npmi express. And now let's just set up a simple express app, which I've got the code right here. So what we're just going to do is we're going to import the express library, create an express app, we're gonna create um, one route that can be accessed with a get request. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna access the request headers and send back a 200 status with these headers. And then we're gonna listen for incoming requests on localhost on server port, which we will provide through um, Docker Compose with environment variables. And now let's create a Docker file to build our image. And actually let's clean this up a bit inside our server. Let's create a source folder. So move this into server. And then let's place our index.js file inside of there. So we can separate out some configuration from the actual source code. But now let's create inside our server, our Docker file. So inside this Docker file, we'll use the node 16 Alpine image as the base build. So let me get some code to put in here. So this node 16 Alpine image uses node version 16 and is based on the Alpine Linux project, which is smaller than most based images. Setting work dir here to dash server will create a folder called server inside the image where all our code will be placed. We then copy over our package.json file and then run npm install. And we do this before copying over the rest of the code to enable some caching. We then run npm start when the built image is launched, which is done with cmd. And now let's create some npm start script to actually get the program running. And all we're gonna do that is so in here under scripts, get rid of dev and test, and I'll just do start. And we're simply gonna do node.source-index.js. So all this simple do simply does is we, when npm start is ran, we will just run whatever is inside this index.js file, which essentially starts our express application. And now let's start building our Nginx reverse proxy. To start, let's create a folder. Oh, and this should actually be inside server here, so move this inside there. But let's create a folder now to hold our Nginx information. Let's call this, let's just call it Nginx. And inside here, let's place a template configuration file, which we will call default.conf.template. And this template file here will hold our Nginx proxy configuration. We use the .template extension because we want to work with environment variables inside this file. By default, the Nginx Docker image runs a script that uses env subst, which is just um, a script for environment variable substitution. And it does what it does is it replaces environment variables inside here before Nginx starts. 
which you will see more of when we actually demonstrate this. But let's fill in this configuration file, which is simply gonna be a server block. And here, so these are the environment variables in all capitals. So nginx port is the port that nginx is running on. nginx host is the domain that nginx is running on. Server port right here is the port the node server is running on, which will be the same as right here. And server host is the address that the node server is running on. These are all environment variables that will be replaced by env subst in this template file. Now, more into this, let's talk about these directives here. So the proxy set header directive is used to add headers to the proxied request. So essentially, our nginx reverse proxy will receive a request when it receives a request to this location, so the root location, what it will do is it'll append all these headers and then pass the request on to our express server. If you wanna go more in depth right here, so this x forwarded four is a request header that identifies the originating IP address of a client connecting to a web server through a proxy. This dollar proxy add x forwarded four is a variable handled by nginx that adds the client address. Host here specifies the host and port number of the server the request, the request is being sent to. Upgrade is used to upgrade an already established connection to a different protocol, such as HTTP to WebSocket. It's supplied from the client, so if not provided, it will not be added to the request. So kind of Nginx handles this for us anyway. And next we have connection, which determines whether the network connection stays open after the current transaction ends. However, the most important part of this is this proxy pass directive. And this tells Nginx where to forward the request. Specifically, the proxy pass directive is used inside a location context, so used inside here, to pass a request to a HTTP server. Here, we want Nginx to pass on the request to our node server. Now, let's create the Docker file that will make our Nginx image work with this configuration. So inside here, let's create another Docker file. And let's take, um, I'm gonna take some boilerplate code and place it in here. So here, we are using Nginx 1.18.0 as the base image, again with Alpine. We then create the working directory dash etc dash nginx dash templates, and then copy over our template configuration file into it. So we copy this configuration into this location in the container after creating this templates directory. And the reason we do this is because by default, the nginx docker container reads template files in the dash etc dash nginx dash templates, and then it looks for anything with the extension dot template and then it takes all these results and outputs them to um, the, the location dash etc dash nginx dash conf dot d, which is a main configuration file, or sorry, which is a folder that contains default dot conf, which is ultimately loaded into the main nginx configuration file. But we'll probably see, you'll see more of this as we start working more. But now that we've got our reverse proxy here and our node server here, let's work with Docker Compose to build our Nginx and node images. So first, let's create a docker compose.yaml file. And now the first thing we'll do is let's build our node image first. So we're gonna create a service. So inside here, we're using version 3.8, and then we're creating our services, and the first is server. And here, we call the service server and the image node. We then provide the location of our Docker file to the build context. So we're saying our Docker file is inside dash server, which it is right here. And it's called Docker file, which I believe is default, but we just place it in anyway. And then we name the container server host, which is the environment variable that we will define. And then we map the machine port to the Docker container port with the environment variable server port right here. And these environment variables are all provided from our .env file that we will create. And now let's set up our nginx service. So with docker compose, we can create multiple docker images. And one of these, the next one we're doing is going to be our nginx. And let me also fix the indentation on this. All right, so this looks better. And so what we do here is we call the service and, and image nginx. We set restart to always, which means that the container will restart automatically if it stops. We then provide the location of the docker file to the build context which once again is dash nginx, and our Docker file is right here. We set the container name to nginx host environment variable, which we get it all from this env file. 
And then we have our ports of mapping our machine port to our Docker container port. And so now let's create this .env file. So we'll just call it .env. And what we need to do now is just define our variables. So we have our server port, which will be port 888. And your next port will be 999, 9999. And then we have our server host, which is the container name, which is going to be node C. And the Nginx host is going to be Nginx C. And remember, Docker sets up an internal network. So this is why it doesn't have to be local host, as these containers will be able to find, them, find each other over the network through their container name. But so essentially now, Docker and Docker Compose will use this file to populate the environment variables with these values. This means that our node server can be contacted at the domain node C and the port 8888, while our Nginx proxy can be contacted at the domain Nginx C and the port 9999. Now to run the program, let's simply change back to the top level. And what we have to do is just run docker compose up. So if we run this, just wait for everything to be pulled from Docker Hub. But we can see our two services here, Nginx and server, and the amount of layers that are being built. So we can see node C exited with code zero. And I believe the reason for this is due to the name. Let's just call this also just server. Let's see if that fixes any issues. So just docker compose up. Essentially what I believe it was doing is it was just taking, there we go. So what was happening when we called this node is it was using the base node image. And so there was no uh, code being copied in. But now that we're using our own custom one, we can see express is listening on port 8888. And we know that Nginx is listening on port 999. So if we go in here, let's do Docker PS. And what we can see right here is we're mapping 888 and our machine to 8888 Docker. And then here is our Nginx. You can see the names right here. So now, so let me see if I can zoom in a bit more. Okay, <clears throat> so, so let's curl our Nginx server. And what we get is an empty response. And I think I know why, but if we curl our express server, which is on 888, we get these headers here, which is coming back from here because we're getting the headers and then just sending them back. However, what we want to do in the purpose of this video is we want to go through Nginx and then get this response. And so the issue is that inside this file here, let's call this reverse proxy as opposed to Nginx, because if not, it's just probably gonna pull the, it's gonna use the Nginx image from Docker Hub, which will be empty. So if we name it reverse proxy, let's do Docker compose up now. And we can see here, actually, you can see env substitution running on templates and specifically this here. So now, because of this, if we go back in and now let's curl localhost 999, we can see our headers from Nginx have been appended. So we're going through Nginx and then, so we contact Nginx, it goes through this, forwards it to our express server and it sets these headers and you can see our X forwarded for. So if we look here, this is our X forwarded for header, host, connection, all that stuff. Whereas if we just go through Express, we don't have these headers because Nginx hasn't put them on. And then if we want to look inside, say we go docker exec dash it Nginx C SH, I think is the command. Yeah, sweet. So if we look inside here, Dash, we're inside our Docker container now, our Nginx one. If we do a cat of this default conf template, we can see everything in here. And now if we go back and look inside conf D and we cat out default.conf, we can see everything substituted in here. So we have node C 88888, listen on 9999, all this stuff. and essentially we can see our configuration with the environment variable substitution has worked. But so I'll just exit out of here. But so this was my video on using Nginx as a reverse proxy for a node server. If you have any comments, leave them in the questions or sorry, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try and get back to you. Uh, besides that, I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good one.